How you doing? Big Hickory 357 in the kitchen. It's late at night. 1.39 in the morning. Well, I had work late and everything else, so I had to get come home late cooking something I've never cooked before. Like my hat, that's my signature hat. Just like my buddy Sailor Manuel got his teeth, his big old metal pot. I got my Molon LeBay. Well, what we got for you today is a special treat. I am making, for the first time, for the first time, barbecued raccoon. Yup, barbecued coon. Well, I started out here, see if you can see it there, in my crock pot. See right now. In my crock pot, I put in, of course, water, about an onion and a half, some cayenne pepper, black pepper, four cloves of garlic, oh, a couple chipotle peppers that are dry and it's kind of a seasoned mix. And then I went to cleaning my coon. Well, I got my coon from my son. He'd had one in the freezer and we had talked about it. So he was like, well, yeah, dad, I'll give you a coon. My boy, he's good. His country is a bowl of collard greens with fat back. Anyway, if you don't know what fat back is, you need to look it up. You need to know what fat back is. Anyway, with all that said, I went ahead, hooked up the coon carcass. It's in there. I'll save you the gory details. But, of course, I cut off the limbs and down along the spine and everything else. Got the good cuts of meat just to get down in there. On the limbs, I've kind of deboned them a little bit. I'm going to leave the bones in there to cook because that gives flavor of trim fat. I like a lot of fat on my meat. Um, it gives flavor, but I'm not familiar with coon. This is the first time I've ever eaten coon. Now, I do like squirrel. I've eaten squirrel. I've eaten possum. Never done coon. And how fitting. I'm going to fix me a damn coon. That's right. Going to get me a coon. Eat me a coon. Anyway, I've heard people say that barbecue coon is the best way to have it. What you do is you just cook it down. You season it. You cook it down and you get it shredded. Well, get that cooked down. Then you're going to add barbecue sauce. It's just a good old shredded barbecue. That's what it is. But it's coon. Now, if you've never processed wild game on your kitchen table, let me tell you something. Processed meat that you get from Safeway, Albertsons, Bilo, Piggly Wiggly, wherever you may be, has a different smell to game. Game has a different smell. Um, it's distinct. doesn't smell like beef. I don't care if it's a coon, a deer, possum, or, as I found out tonight, a coon. It's got a different smell. Maybe that's because it's natural and it ain't that bull crap we've been getting with CO2 gases and all that other stuff and hormones. The coon I cut up, it's a young coon, it's not very big, um, so that should just be right about perfect. Like I said, my son got it. Um, gotta love my boy. He, I got to see him and we were talking about it and he said, well dad, I got a coon in the freezer. I said, well, hell, boy, is it good? He said, yeah, Dad. He said, it's just like pork barbecue, but only better. So, I'm going to do my first attempt at cooking it. Now, here's what I've done. As you will see in my pot, pardon me, I'm on my droid Razor Max phone, and I've got the screen turned around so I can see what I'm doing. Right there, that's all coon meat. See the leg? That's coon. That's all coon meat. That's a raccoon right now. You just, that's coon meat. I've washed it, trimmed it, boned it. I got a couple bones in there because I like bones for flavor. I already told you, in my crock pot, though you might not be able to see, let's see if I can get it down there good for you. Woo-wee! Yeah. Onions, garlic, and just a secret blend of Big Hickory 357 seasoning. If you ain't seen my other cooking videos, you don't know what you're missing. 
So let's go ahead and get this started. The leg bone connected to the hip bone. The shoulder bone connected to the crock pot bone. So I'm just taking these people. This is all raccoon. I know some of you out there are like, that's what I'm talking about, boy. Eat you some of that right there. So I'm putting this coon meat in there. See, there's just a the bone. I'm going to... Now, obviously, I ain't going to eat the bone. I'm going to fish that out later. But bone got marrow, and it's got flavor. Oh, Lord, that's got flavor. Oh, look at that. That's more raccoon. That's a raccoon right there. That's all going in the pot. So you don't think I'm fooling you. That's raccoon. Yeah, hell, can you see it? And there's pot. Okay. Raccoon meat. Part of my kitchen. It's not normally dirty. It's not dirty. It's just I gotta wash some dishes. So I'm putting this coon in there. Do 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 do. There. Ooh, look at that piece of coon. Ooh, look at that little bone. A lot of people at stores. I don't care if it's chicken or pork or beef. They want to remove the bone. Bone's got a lot of flavor. You want to add that bone. Now, you're probably asking, why is Big Hickory cooking a coon? Well, you know what? Time's about to get tough. And I know some of you is going to see this video voted for a dumb son of a gun because you'd rather have freebies. Well, guess what? The Lord gave you freebies in the name of a raccoon. That's right, little raccoon. You know, David Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Well, he wore a coonskin cap. Yep, a dip inside the house. Anyway, I've never had coon. I've eaten wild game plenty. I've eaten duck. I've eaten goose, possum, squirrel, deer, wild pig, dove. I've even eaten snapper turtle. Now, let me tell you something right there. Snapping turtle... That's some good stuff. That is good. Fry up a snapping turtle. That is good eating. Don't let your mama tell you no different. Turtle good. It's good for you. Good for you. Put hair at the bottom of your nutsack. It's good for you. Anyway, so what I've done, I've, I've got this thing on high. I've got my seasoning in it. Got my onions. Got all my good stuff. I'm going to let that cook overnight. Now, I know how to cook, and I've never had coon. So this is going to be an experiment. It's going to cook all night. Put the lid on. You think I'm joking. Now there's the lid. Oh, Lord, you see the onions? Look right there. That's an onion. See that? That's an onion. Let me get it for you. That's an onion, and that's coon meat. That's cool. And put the lid on. There you go. Big Hickory 357 with hooking up that wild coon. You want to talk about preparedness and everything hits the fan. And you know what? Some of you think this is stupid. Some of you think preppers are stupid. The red neck hillbilly backwoods conspiracy freaks well let me tell you something to all those who think this is a bunch of crap we just had that hurricane hit the northeast all them yankees weren't prepared you see them running around oh lord i ain't got no gasoline i ain't got no electricity they weren't prepared it doesn't have to be some zombie apocalypse it doesn't have to be some government conspiracy. Mother Nature will throw something at you. You better know how to cook what the good Lord gave you. Now, you better learn something. You better know how to cook. And granted, I got some store-bought onions and whatnot. But right now, I'm with a coon. I'm going to shred it up. I'm going to make a barbecue. That's right. I'm going to add barbecue sauce to it. No, I don't expect barbecue sauce to be in a zombie apocalypse. But I just processed that coon tonight. The first time I've cut up a coon. 
telling you. New. A cow had a mama. A pig went oink oink oink. oink. A piggy had a mama. All your pork, your chickens, your beef that come from a grocery store, they were living, walking, breathing animals. But here's one thing about wild game. They had a chance. That's the most humane food you could eat. Because at least that coon, up until the day he died, lived a free life. He didn't live in a pen in his own poop and pee-pee. It's more humane to eat wild game. Well, anyway, this is Big Hickory 357. If you don't know about processing wild game and meat, start out with something simple. Start out with a rabbit. Get some deer meat from some of your friends, whether you're up north, in the high areas of New York, out in the mountains of California. Get some elk from those out in New York, or excuse me, New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Wyoming. If you don't know what wild game is, you better find out. You can give it two years. Two! Two years! Two years! This country's gonna be in a big change, and you don't know how to do this stuff, you're gonna be hungry. And unless you one hell of a carpenter, you ain't coming around my place eating for free. So if you don't know how to cook wild game and cook food, you better have one hell of a skill or hell. Haha, <laughs> one hell of a fine wife that you don't mind sharing. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but you better have some skill. You better learn how to cook. This is Big Hickory 357. Today is November 10th. And I want to go ahead and take this time to say happy birthday to all my fellow Marines. November 10th. Back in 1775, my Marine Corps came alive. That's right. Ura. Happy birthday, Marines. Past, present, and future. If everybody could do it, wouldn't be the Marines. Anyway, this is Big Hickory 357, Milan LeBay. To hell with Obama. You better learn how to do something, boy. Fix you some barbecue coon. Peace!